Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to render footage with an alpha channel or a transparent background. And I'm going to show you how to do it in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015. I have a tutorial for CC 2014, but they've made some changes and it's just a little different, but it's pretty much the same thing. So let's go ahead and do this. First thing I want to do is I've got a, just a, a new project here and I want to demonstrate to you the technique. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop down here and create a new item. I'm going to create a title because they can show you uh, quite uh, clearly how this works. Create a new title and I'm just going to go, yeah, whatever, 1920, 1080. And I'm going to call this Alpha Channel Test. Yes, this is a test. And sure, why not? How does that look? Looks good? All right. That's a cool looking title. Going to drag and drop that into my timeline. Now here's why we're doing it. Because you can see that we have this white Obviously, we have the white text, and we have the black background. When you, when you do transparencies or alpha channels, we don't want this black background to render out when we process this. So, how do we do that? I'm going to just drag it to here, and I'm going to go File, Export, Media. Now, I have it set to QuickTime, which is normal uh, for this type of stuff. But most people these days process with like a codec like H.264 or maybe an AVI or or whatever it is, but I use the QuickTime, drop down to QuickTime, and then when you go to presets, you wanna go to GoPro Cineform RGB 12 with alpha, or with alpha at maximum bit depth, depending on you know how heavy duty this is for you guys. So with alpha, now when I process this, you can look down here, you can up the quality, of course, um, and, and make some you know changes, but you are gonna see that the RGBA 12 bit is click that A means RGBA, is that what I said? Yeah, that A means alpha. All right, export that, we're gonna export that, we're gonna call it test one, two, let's go to my tutorials, sure, let's go there, test one, and I'm gonna drag it back in and show you how this worked. Okay, so there's test one that we just processed, dragging that back in. Now to show you that it works, I'm gonna have to put this over top of some footage, so I'll just throw in some standard, I don't know, Simple footage of some friggin Vegas skyline or something like that. Here's some stock footage. Now, I'm going to create a new sequence from this clip. This isn't, you don't have to follow along, guys. This is just me proving that it worked. New sequence from clip. This is my new one. And then test one, which I processed. You see that it is the white and it has the black. When I drop that bad boy on, the black is gone. <laughs> Hell yeah, we rendered that with an alpha channel, guys. That is all there is to it, to rendering footage with an alpha channel in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015. Do keep in mind one last thing that I, of course, I might have said this already. I did not download any external codecs or any settings from anywhere. This comes pre-built inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015, and it is awesome. I hope this helped. I'll be back soon. Cheers.